All right, Shalom. This is Brother Mashaba with the Brother Kadashia. And we come in, I got you with another, with another lesson, but first we want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahushai Bashem, Kakudash. Second thing I want to do is give double honors to all, all the apostles and those and elders of a millstone, and citation to all of you brothers that are putting his truth with both the charity and charity. All right, so what we wanted to get into is that I'm uh, times right now are, are getting evil. Like I'm, uh, you know, you see right now, and I'm, uh, uh, like France, like like there are a riots, you know, going on. Like uh, like a, a week or so ago, there's a video of you know a guy punching a, a, a woman, and then you know her child uh, shot him. All right, and uh, I'm gonna try to get that scripture where it says I'm uh, seditions of the people. I think the S in like second edges, fifteen. Calm. I'm uh right. Uh, this is second edges chapter fifteen, and uh, verse. Uh, actually, I'm gonna start at verse fourteen. Woe to the world, and then that dwell therein, and woe basically goes into the uh, word destruction. So destruction to the world, and them that dwell therein. That's right. For the sword and the destruction draweth nigh. And one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men, and evading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. So, yeah, uh, pretty, pretty soon things are, are going to start to get crazy, man. And, you know, Jacob's trouble, you know, is it, going to, you know, just like intensify at times a hundred, man. It, it's going to be like nothing we've ever seen before. Right, the scriptures oh. talk about how um, because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. So what you're seeing right now is these things playing out. Right now, iniquity is abounding, man. That's why you see so many uh, evils being multiplied upon the earth. That's why you see all these things going on, man. That's why it says, "Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the destruction draweth nigh." See, the Lord is tired of these people. The scriptures also talk about how the Lord is angry with the wicked every day, man. See, hey, these people really believe. Just because they've been going on for a, a pretty long time without punishment, that they're gonna continue being unpunished. But nah, man, the the, the that day is coming eh, when the Lord is gonna uh, uh, bring that that heavy those those heavy judgments upon you, man. And it's gonna be uh, it says right here. Uh, that's why it says right here in uh, Second Ezra 14 and 16. It says for yet greater evils than those. Or actually, let me start off at 15. It says. Uh, Second Ezra 14 and 15 and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee in haste to flee from these times So we're supposed to be hasting uh, 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 To flee from these times man. See right now. We're living we're living in the uh, in a present evil world man and We're trying to haste uh, uh, to leave from these times man. It says uh verse uh, 16 for yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter so hey <laughs> So there's going to be greater evils coming, uh, more greater evils, you see? Things uh, happening more, th more things uh, increasing upon the world, more ungodliness, more more violence, more, uh, uh, hey, the crime rate has been going up crazy, man. Especially, hey, when Jacob's trouble, like the brother just mentioned, when Jacob's trouble comes down full throttle, hey, that, that crime rate is going to be, <laughs> man, it's going to be insane, bro. People are going to be breaking into each other's houses. People are going to be stealing, hey, uh, you know, spoiling each other's houses and so on and so forth, man. You see? There's going to be, hey, that's why Yahabashai said, uh, I come to bring, uh, and what, uh, let me see, though, the one that talks about how he's going to bring fire and what will live will be already kindled. Let me get that real quick. Let me see. You got something on? Yeah. And, you know, as, as I'm, uh, yeah, you know, and plus Jacob is wise to do evil. So just imagine all the evil that you're gonna uh, do when you know they're basically like allowed to do it, man. When when it's like you know the uh, game Fallout, it's gonna be crazy out here, man. And you know we gotta be circumspect. I won't mention his name, but you know a brother just got jumped the other day. All right, we gotta be circumspect out here. You know, uh, this is Ephesians chapter five and verse fifteen. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. So, yeah, man, the days 
are evil and they're only going to get worse as, as time goes on and it's going to be very very soon all right let me continue wherefore be not unwise but understanding what the will of the lord is and be not drunk with wine wherein is excess but be filled with the spirit so yeah we got to be so sober minded man you know it, it's you know it time is getting near where we got to really you know get serious all right that's right and uh hey right now we're living in times where uh Hey, the Lord is really uh, uh, turning up, <laughs> turning up that fire, man. You see, right now, uh, as it gets hotter and hotter and hotter, you see, you're gonna see uh, more evils, more. Uh, and when I mean hotter, I mean uh, the, the the Lord is turning the spirit up on these people, man. There be spirits created for vengeance, things that are uh, happening ultimately in this world, and everybody is gonna suffer, it, man. Hey, the scriptures talk about. Uh, if you could get Second Ezra seven and eighteen real quick. Uh, this is second Ezra seven and eighteen. Nevertheless, the righteous shall suffer straight things, and hope for wide. For they that have done wickedly have suffered the straight things, and yet shall not see the wide. So, hey, the hey, the right, hey, the righteous are going to suffer the straight things as well, and hope for the wide, because we have, hey, we have this expectation. We believe on the Lord, man. We actually have faith on these scriptures, and because we have faith in the scriptures, and Lord will we endure unto the end. Hey. We could very well be, uh, Lord willing, we be one of those men that receive salvation, man. And that's going to be uh, something beautiful to witness within itself, man. But it says that the, uh, it says how the wicked are going to suffer the straight things and not see the wide, man. So these other people in the world, guess what? They're going to be uh, suffering these things as well. They're going to be going through it as well, man. But the thing is, is that they have no expectation. They have no hope. They have no vision. It says where, where no vision is, the people uh, perish it, man. So you got to really think about these things, man, that the, everything that's happening right now in the world is not a coincidence, but the Lord actually wants these things to happen, man. All the all, all the violence, the uproars of people in the world, the earthquakes, the pestilences, you see, all those things, the rumors of war, all those things are, are, are um, signs of the Lord's coming, man. I, I got that. I'm a... Uh, uh, this is Mark chapter 13. I'm going to start at verse 7. And when you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, be ye not troubled. For such things must needs be, but the end shall not be yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be earthquakes in diverse places, and there shall be famines and troubles. These are the beginnings of sorrows. So, yeah, you know, all these things, like, like you know, and... Uh, there's an article, you know, that, I, you know, it, it basically read, you know, very soon and in the near future, you're going to need a, a microchip to uh, participate in society, man. That's right. The World Economic Forum just confirmed it that if you want to participate in the society, you're going to have to get something implanted under your under your skin, man, which what does that tell you? The scriptures talk about Revelation 13, uh, how basically it causes it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a uh, mark on his right hand, right? And that I, I got it. Come, Bible, Sean. This is Revelation 13, and I'm gonna start at verse 16. Um, uh, uh, yeah, verse 16. And cause and he caused all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he had that he that had the mark. So, hey, everybody's going to have to receive this, man. If you want to function in this society, if you want to uh, continue living, right? If you want to continue paying your bills and paying your car and feeding your children and going to work and doing what you got to do, you're going to have to receive this, man. Because at the end of the day, hey, Esau's going to take advantage of everything that's going to go on, man. It's, it says uh, Esau, hey, he does an order out of chaos, which means order out of chaos, man. So Esau is going to take advantage of the situation of all the chaos that's going on. He's going to implement that uh, that C hit, man, that MOTB, man, and he's going to make it mandatory. That's why hey, Esau right now he's moving quickly, man, because he knows that he has. Uh, I, got, I got that. Come. This is Revelation 12 and verse 12. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down on you, having great wrath. Because he knoweth that he has but a short time. That's right. 
So, hey, Esau knows that he has a short time. That's why everything is ramping up at such a quick rate. Because, hey, the Lord is putting the spirit on this Edomite to do exactly as prophecy uh, t uh, said, man. It's going to come and bring that MOTB, which that World Economic Forum already confirmed it. Nobody can deny it no more, man. See, the, the apostles and elders have been bringing this out for years on years, man. And now you're seeing the, the, the climax of it, man. We're seeing the, the, this actually being implemented, and now nobody can say anything about it, man. Which is the beautiful thing about it, because now, hey, uh, we're, we're going to enter into that hour of temptation, man. And a lot of you uh, people in the world, you two-thirds, you're going to fall victim to that hour of temptation, man. You're going to receive that MOTB, man. You see? And that, hey, that comes with a big judgment. By the way, uh, it says in Revelation 14 and 9, and if you receive this MOTB, guess what, man? You're gonna you're gonna be tormented before the with uh, with fire and brimstone before the Lamb and the and the angels, man. So hey, the, hey you gotta really uh, take heed into these things, man, because just cause hey, all these things are going on in the world, it's not a coincidence, man. Violence is gonna increase. Uh, uh, uh fucking um, uproars of people in the world are gonna increase. You see, all these things are going to increase because they have to happen, man. You just got to keep cleaving on to the Lord and keep standing upon your watch so that you don't fall victim to these things, man. Con, and I'm, uh, I got uh, two scriptures. I'm, uh, but basically, uh, yeah, you know, if, if things is, you know, already bad now, imagine how, how worse it's going to get. And Jacob's trouble is coming. It's coming up. And scriptures say, and uh, Jeremiah 30 and 7, you know, it's going to be like not, nothing we've ever seen before. So I got uh, Luke chapter 23 and verse 31. For if they do these things in a green tree, what shall be done in the dry? So, yeah, you know, what are y'all going to do, you know, when, you know, y'all got to take the microchip, you know, y'all got to do this and that to, you know, you know, survive. And, you know, like uh, a, a loaf of bread costs... You know, a hundred dollars. All right, yeah. and I'm uh, uh, I got. Hey, what are you gonna do when gas is twelve dollars, man? You still huh. going? Hey, hey, the things that are happening in this world, man. He saw the devil, man. He's gonna literally put a grip on you, man, and force you to what? Receive that MOTV, man, and not and not even force you, but he's gonna make it look nice and pretty. He's gonna make it look uh, uh, uh very convenient. He's going to give you the choice, man. And a lot of you are going to take that choice, man. You see, because uh, Salakia, I'm going to uh, take that. I'm going to correct that. Esau can't force you to do nothing, man. It's by your own your own will, your own desire that you're going to want to take that MOTV, man. Esau's just going to put it out there, man. You see? And the ones, hey, the, the ones that are, uh, <laughs> hey, man, everything is happening on the Lord's timing, man. That's what you're seeing play out right now, man. You see? I'm, uh... And this is my second scripture. This is Matthew chapter 6. I'm going to start at verse 30. Wherefore, if Yahweh was so close the grass of the field, which today and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, or ye of little faith? Therefore, take no thought, saying, What shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or, where, or wherewithal shall we be clothed? For all these things do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. But seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh, and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. That's right. Take, take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is evil thereof. Okay, so the Lord, he's really trying to comfort us and let us know. Take no thought of what you're going to eat, where, whatever, whatever, man. Because the Lord is going to provide in that day. The scriptures talk about Second Ezra, uh, the second chapter. It talks about how basically the heathen, the heathen shall envy thee, but shall be able to do nothing against thee, man. Even though these these things are going to happen, even though Jacob's trouble is going to come down the pipe, hey, uh, Isaiah 65 and 13 clearly says that my servant shall eat, uh, but you but you shall be thirsty. My servant shall uh, my servant shall or my servant shall eat, but you shall be hungry. My servant shall drink, but you shall be thirsty, man. Con, uh, so like, yeah, I got a precept. Con, go ahead. Con, this is Jeremiah 30. Let me, let me start at verse 5. For thus saith the Lord, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. Ask him now, and see whether a man doth travail child. Wherefore do I see every man with, with his hands on his loins, as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. 
this, even the times of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. And he are the uh, uh, elect men. So the elect are, are going to be saved out of them horrible days. So so that's why we got to seek the kingdom first and the Lord God is. All right. All right. Hey, that's why we got to hey, just trust in the Lord, man, because a lot of people are going to trust in that MOTB. They're going to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Then that's going to be uh, to their shame and their confusion, man. Everything that you see right now playing out hey, is not a coincidence, man. And hey, I know I keep saying that, but it's because a lot of people can't get a grip of what's really going on in the world. But the scriptures let you know exactly what's going on, man. It clearly, plainly tells you that these are the signs of the coming of our Lord, man. And that's why we have to take heed and stand upon our watch and, and not get distracted by everything that's going on in the world, man. Because right now there's a lot of distractions, a lot of bullshit, you know. Hey, hey, man, you just got to stay focused. Keep your eyes single, man. Keep your eyes on the prize, you see? All right, I, I got uh, one last precept. This is Titus chapter 2 and verse 6. Young men, likewise, exhort to be sober-minded. So, yeah, all right, we got, we got to seek the kingdom first. All right, keep our eyes on the prize. Keep, uh, stay focused, all right? So, yeah. And... You know, I, I hope this lesson opens a mind, but that's all I wanted to cover pretty much. So, with that, we want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Makakudash. Second thing I want to do is give double honors to all the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all of you brothers that are putting this truth with both sincerity and charity. Shalom, stay faithful, and a Baba Ball.